Hey beautiful soul, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't know what was the problem a little while ago, um, but I had to kind of restart and start over again. So, how are you? How is your day? How is your week going so far? Let me know in the comment section how you're doing while we wait for a couple more people to pop on. I have a very exciting conversation for us this afternoon. So I hope you set aside some time so you can um, chat with me and vibes with me, get something to drink, even if it's a glass of water. And let's chat. I'm having water for now. So yes, how are you? How was your Easter weekend? How how has it been? Did you guys get a chance to fly kite? I don't know what your tradition is, but where I come from, Easter is a big deal. People come from all over the Caribbean. And as a matter of fact, a lot of um, overseas uh, base nationals return home on that particular weekend and we usually have a wonderful time for easter and i have been as far as the united kingdom and trust me i think we have the best easter where i come from that's Guyana. so i don't think there's any place else in the world that celebrates easter like us so uh, whenever I'm away from home at Easter time, I always, 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 always miss it because there is none like it, you know. But I do enjoy having a different atmosphere and experiencing something different. So while I wait for people to pop in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a little mini demo on my makeup that I will do on a casual day. And like I always tell you guys, you know, um, you really don't need a whole lot of stuff. So I'm going to prep my face in the meantime and I'm going to tell you about it. And while I wait for a few more people to hop on and then I'm going to do my intro and we're going to get this baby going. So I'm trying out a new product that was sent to me by by Sasha. I'm going to tell you all about it in a little while. So I'm just trying to save two words with the same stone while I wait for a few more folks to pop on. Hey Aviva, welcome, welcome, welcome. How was your Easter? What is Easter like in your neck of the woods? Because I know you live, is it in Antigua or St. Lucia? I'm not sure. I know you're in one of the islands and I know for a fact that most likely the pandemic has affected a lot of us in terms of the way how we celebrate but I would love to hear how Easter is celebrated in the island where you are because to me in Trinidad from my observation it really doesn't seem to be a big deal. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get right into my intro so we could get this this party started and whoever is joining will join in at some point. What I would love for you to do is um, get interactive with me, share, like, um, let your friends know about this and of course, please do participate. So hello, hello, beautiful souls. Good afternoon. Happy Wednesday. I trust that you're having an amazing day and a, and a wonderful week so far. And I hope that you guys had the most amazing Easter, even though I know for um, almost every, every country, you really weren't allowed to do a lot. But whatever you did, I hope you had a great one. I had a wonderful time. Um, what I did is I got together with one of my friends and some of her friends, and they uh, we cooked and... We had some drinks and we had a really wonderful time and um i really i don't think you guys know this about me apart from uh, makeup i really do enjoy cooking it's very therapeutic and it has helped me a lot during this season that we're in so today we're going to be talking about um, mental health and 
how we are making our adjustments and shifts um, as we navigate the pandemic. For a lot of us, some of us are not back out to work yet. Some of us are not even working like myself. Um, some of you might be at school, you may not maybe just um, interacting with school online and it's oh, all of us had to make a shift in one area or the other. So I would love for us to exchange and share information about that. So I'm going to try to do save two words with the same stone while I do a quick little mini because I had a, a lot of requests recently um, about like different demos that people want me to see. So if there's anything in particular that you would like for me to do, um, pop it in the comment. At some point, I will definitely do a video dedicated specifically to you. So today I'm dedicating this little mini demo to Sasha. Um, Kamala introduced me to something here that she asked me to try, but unfortunately, since I got it, I haven't had the opportunity to use it because I haven't been doing much makeup. So today, I'm going to really show you how simple my makeup routine is. So this is a product by Sasha and it's called uh, Face Canvas. I'm not 100% sure it's like a primer. So I'm not 100% sure exactly what it's supposed to do, but so far when I applied it on my skin, my skin feel like velvet. Um, I don't like primers that are like super, super matte. I like to still feel my skin and like to still have a nice, because what I notice about it, because I just applied a little bit and I like how my fingers are able to glide over my skin. So it really does feel like velvet, you know, so that's the first thing I like about it. So believe me, so I, I had a had on moisturizer earlier. So my next prepping stage was the face canvas. And believe me, this, this is a CC cream. This is a, the, the remnants of a full coverage foundation because like I always tell you, my areas of challenge is this little shadow area right here. So I don't stress myself out with too, many, too much makeup these days. So my black up powder, I have a sublime powder here and I have this um, Makeup Forever HD powder. What I usually do with this one, I'm going to show you. It's white. What I usually do with this one is I just plop it in the areas where I tend to be extra shiny, which is like my nose here, my T-zone area. And then what I'm going to do, I have two more products that I got from Black Up, not Black Up, sorry, from Sasha. Um, this is supposed to be a volumizing and lengthening mascara and this is a liquid pen liner So I'm going to do a comparison and you guys decide because for me I don't just need length. I need volume as well because my lashes are very very fine and very very short So for me to really get the maximum benefit from a mascara I have to get a volumizing and lengthening mascara so what I'm going to do real quick while we wait for a couple more people to pop them, I'm going to show you how simple this product is. So it's like a cream base. So all I do is as little as this. This is this is going to do my entire, well, I don't really do foundation wall to wall. I just pay attention to the inner corners. And I have a little blemish like right here. And I quickly dab this on because it sets very quickly and I'll put a little bit on my eyelid as well on top and I fade it to the side so so all I need is to create the illusion of flawless even complexion for myself I don't have a whole lot of blemishes thank God so I my blemished area to me is just the center of my face and like around here or my nose have a little bit of redness so I will just take that out so that's my CC cream and what I love about the CC cream it also is um, it also has skincare benefits to it so it's the perfect perfect product so with the full coverage foundation I'm gonna do two things I'm going to further this guy's little shadow and create a, like a, um, a highlighting situation. 
started from the same area just right here this one is a little tad little bit lighter than the than my skin and I purposely keep it like this because I want to create a little bit of dimension and I will use the residue on my finger as a primer over my eyes come down to the side of my nose so already you can see and what I'm going to do is just blend edges out and I tell you ladies this is less than maybe 15 minutes tops and most of the times when you go out you are using a mask and then I use my beauty blender and I just tap it in So already you can see my face has a little bit of structure. So if I'm going out and I just don't, I just want to look flawless, but I really don't want to be bothered with a full, full face. This is my really quick 50 minute routine. So my whole objective here is to create the illusion of flawless skin and even skin tone. So I cover my little blemish, which is like right in here. And then I use my compact powder because usually for most people who want to know the difference between a compact powder and a loose powder, the loose powder, the pigments uh, is usually very light and you don't get much coverage from a loose powder. But with, but with the compact powder, it's a little bit more pigmented. So that's why I can get away with using just product to the center of my face and then I use the powder compact to kind of like pull the rest of it together and even off my skin. So I do look, well, in my opinion, I do look like I have a full face. So for now, what I'm going to do is the HD powder, which is also supposed to be anti-shine. I'm going to pat a little bit extra in the area where I turn to get oily. Which is over my brow bone area, my T zone, my nose. And then I have this delicious product here. It's called a Sublime Powder. What I love about it, it highlights and adds radiance to the skin without a heavy shine that you get from most products. And this product is awesome because I can use it everywhere. So I'm not going to do eyeshadow. I want to test the... um eyeliner and the mascara that I got from Sasha so I'm using this product over my eyes like a like a shadow as well because remember when you're going out on a reg regular basis especially if it's work and this is just whatever is remaining on the brush I use it like a bronzer to add a little flush to my cheeks I'm not I'm purposely not putting much color so if I was going to work for example and I was working somewhere and I not selling makeup and I just want to look flawless and don't worry about um, thing this is what I will do because basically you just want your skin to look flawless and um, and nice and radiant that's my preference and the next thing that i'm gonna do now is just focus on my eyes because remember we're in a mask for most of the times so i already have some lip balm so let's try the sasha let me tell you exactly what the name of it is um it's a liquid precision pen liner and there's a way there's strategy in everything when it comes to makeup you don't um you don't line your eyes straight across because the whole idea with makeup is to really um, highlight your best features, right? And for me, my eyes are very small. So my objective right now is to line my eyes in such a way that I define it. And I also create the illusion of my eyes still being nice and open. So I don't ever line all the way down on the inner corner. 
I try to keep my eyes open so I keep my inner lid as light as possible. So I'm going to start from the center and I'm going to get, it's important when you're lining to get the line as close to the lash line as possible. So that's the first place I'm going to tackle, especially if you're going to be wearing, um, if you're going to be wearing lashes, get the line as close to your lash line as possible. So when you apply your, um, your lashes, you don't see a space between the liner and the lashes. I could tell you, oh my God, it looks so it, for me, it's distract, distracting and because maybe I'm also a perfectionist. I sometimes want to get up in there and just help you out and draw a line. So I, will, I'm, I think for now, because this by itself is a line because you could already see the definition, what it did to my eyes. My eyes are already popping. But I'm gonna tell I'm gonna do like a soft wing line because I don't want anything too fancy, you know, because you wanna be quick. So what I'm going to do is just give a little flick to the outer corner that starts. I'm using the edge of my eyes as the mark, and I'm gonna give it a little flick and then I'm gonna take it down. What I love about this so far is the fact that it's really jet black. So even on the darkest skin tone, it is going to be awesome, right? So just two or three strokes and it's already there. So I kind of already, you can see, right? Yeah, so nothing fancy, just keeping it very, very simple. On another time, I could make this more dramatic, but for now, this is how simple life is. Because if it is that you are rushing to get out early in the morning, I mean, you don't have to do this every single day, but you know, my eyes to me is one of my strong points, and this is one of the, air, the features that I always tend to play. So I always fill the line as close to my lash line as possible then i'm measuring the outer corner and i'm gonna do a nice little flick going upwards because the angle of the line will also um manipulate the shape of your eyes you don't want to pull it straight across because you're gonna eyes can just be looking stretched across so i want to keep it open so i flick it up right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the top of this line and I'm going to angle it down to meet the first part. And then I'm going to fill in the spaces. And of course, I want to make this nice and sexy. So, so far, the pen is really nice and smooth. And I love the fact that it's jet black too. So I can give it a little bit more depth, like right here. So usually with the wing liner, it's thicker to the outer end and nice and thin as it comes on the inside. Because like I said, if you wanna keep your eyes open, don't ever get the line across. Hey, 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 hey. Hello, beautiful soul. Gloria is here. So, and it seems as though it dries very quickly too. Yeah, so I'm looking to see if it's even. And it, the trick to using these pens and stuff is for, for whatever reason, if you see that you make a mistake, don't try to clean it up right away. Just allow it to set and when it's set, it's going to be easier for you to clean up afterwards. Well, I, I guess you guys should know by now I'm a perfectionist. So I'm sorry, I got to block you a little bit just to kind of bring this in a little bit more. I want to angle here a little bit more. The 
angle of the line is very, very important. Oh, snaps and I'm messing it up. So you know what they say, every spoil is a style. So we're gonna just go over on the other side and make it a little bit wider over here. So even as a makeup artist, I still struggle with doing a wing line. Sometimes my intention don't always go the way how I want it to go. So I just allow the product to do whatever it does and everybody's one big happy family. So now I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into the mascara now, which is the part that pulls everything together. So what do you guys, what are you thinking so far? For those of you who are now joining us, today is the topic where they're gonna be discussing is mental health. And we're gonna be talking about how we're navigating this journey. And um, one second because we are still in the middle of a pandemic. Um, a lot of us, our livelihoods have been disrupted. And I think it's important for us to have a conversation as to how we're navigating it. And so if we exchange ideas, we will definitely be able to kind of give each other some tips as we go along, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do two you, I'm going to use two mascaras. I'm going to use the Sasha one, which is volumizing, super lengthening, water resistant mascara. And this one is Voluminous Paradise from, um, I think it's L'Oreal. Yes, L'Oreal. Okay, something's happening here. Right. So I'm gonna use the Sasha on my right and I'm, then I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put it on evenly. So the best, a lot of people don't know how to apply mascara properly. And I always start, recommend starting from the roots and you wriggle it all the way up. Because the whole idea is to coat your lashes so that you can add definition as well as pull it out. I came a little bit closer so you could see. What I love about this mascara so far, it is jet black. So for the women who have darker skin tones, it will definitely add some definition. And I'm going to, um, I am going to, I love on the vibe on the outside. Are you guys Bigging up one another. Uh, I like to do my bottom lashes too because I believe it's the one thing that helps to pop my lashes, op my eyes open, sorry. Great. So I'm going to take a break. I'm going to use the other one. So, so far, so good. How is it going? Um, I was supposed to have a guest today, but there was a glitch in the matrix. At some point so we weren't able to connect in time and so I decided I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to wing this the best way I see how I don't know a device that I'm using all of a sudden just freeze on me so something is going on are you guys still there give me some hearts let me know that you're still there and I'm not frozen So the important thing to note when you're applying mascara is to really take your time, wriggle the mascara all the way down from the bottom of the lash, all the way up to the top. Are you guys there? Are you hearing me? Still seeing me? Hi, Tracy Bailey. This is one product you can apply and talk at the same time. Right, so the trick to applying mascara and getting it 
nice and even is allow it to kind of dry in between coats so I'm gonna pretend that I'm doing my lips and then um, we will go ahead and apply the second the second coat so in regards to my topic this afternoon why is this thing frozen hold on one moment this has never happened before anyways yes so i just want to make sure okay great i'm not frozen so at least somebody responded great so yeah so i have a couple of questions here that i had um I had made a note from because I was supposed to have a young lady on today and like I said I think there was a glitch in the matrix somewhere along the line and we weren't able to connect in time to kind of finalize the details so I decided that I'm going to share my um remember I'm not a professional I am just going to share what worked for me as I've been I have been navigating this season even way before it's here so this is the second coat from the um the sasha i so far my comment with this is it seemed to be adding length but i don't think i'm getting volume and i will, t I will let you see in a minute what i'm talking about I kind of blot off the excess on the brush a little while ago because I noticed sometimes when a mascara is new, it tends to um, like clump up on the lash. And that, to me, I don't have time for that. So you usually have to have like a, a clean spoolie on the side to use. So this is the, um, this one is from L'Oreal. So I'm purposely doing it like this so you can see so i can compare what i use and how this one is so the what i'm observing right now is that i do have the volume my lashes look a whole lot fuller on this side as opposed to on this side And to pull it to add the icing on the cake, I'm gonna just let it set one more time and just give it another pull through. So it's back home and pull it out. Volume and length. And you want to pull your lashes out in such a way that it frames your eyes nicely and you pull it out on the outside as well. So Gloria, how are you? How is your week going so far? How did you enjoy Easter? Did you guys celebrate? Did you have a good time? Hi Marcia, welcome, welcome, welcome. How was Easter in Guyana? Hi Tracy Charles. How did you guys enjoy Easter? What did you do? So drop your comments. Let me know. I want to be able to read because right now we can't voice chat. Oops. And I have, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. On this side of my eyes, where I'm using the Sasha mascara, I have a lot of um, little marks something from my lash. So, and like I said, it's easier if you just let it dry and then you'll flick it off. It wouldn't make a mess. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put on the final coat. And then we're going to dive right into the conversation. And let's see if we could shed some light for one another because it really is important. This is not something that we talk about. And I really believe that 
we could help each other if we are open to having these these conversations because it's very very real um one of the questions someone asked me recently is how do i manage my mental health and to be honest it's not something that shows up it doesn't show up the same way every single time right so the way how i would manage it now is not the same way i would manage it and uh, in a different season what i mean by that is this um yeah i don't like how everything feeling like if you could see i don't know if you guys could see it looks all the lashes are clumped together and i'm getting a lot of um I think my lash at the bottom definitely definitely gave me length but I don't think it gave me volume so let me just finish this up and then we will continue any feedback so far in terms of the mascara you seen a difference I don't know how um, impactful it is from where you guys are So this is the other one. My lashes look way fuller over here, I think. I look like I have more lashes on this side, which is the volumizing part of the um, thing. Right. So on a regular day, this is, it. this is it for me. I don't need a lot. I don't need to be bothered with all that stuff. So now that it's dry. And I need some tissue. It usually is not so humid here. Right, so this is my everyday look. 15 minutes and I'm done. In 15 minutes, because you don't need no big setter. Like I always say, you don't need no big set of stuff on your face. Especially when you're gonna just go cover it down with a mask. So on the very very casual days, clean skin, nice eyes, a little pop on the eyes, and that's it. If I want to make my eyes a little bit more dramatic, what I will normally do is just add a nice pair of natural lash strip on it. But I ain't in the mood for that. It's not a kind of party. So I'm just coming over to check my friend Gloria. We're going vibes. But I want to make sure that I leave it home looking cute just in case, you know. So you see, you don't need a lot at all. You really, really don't need a lot. Yeah. And this is just my brush that I use on my, with my bronzer. Because I want to add a little flush to my cheek. Because I think I need to get some more sunlight too. Because I, I find like I'm not getting enough vitamin D. Literally. Yeah. Your week is going good. So right.